team one, do we have a name here? This is knee mac, right? Somebody took this it. This is knee mac. I mean, how yep. would we know if it wasn't for the shirts? Where did our knee mac? All right, and over here, we have the very patient, very patient, but no consistency with shirts. Should I go get it? That's right. Who are you? What do you want? Wigwam. Is the sign coming? Bless your heart. Okay. Bless your heart. Wigwam, is Bob Cheesebro, or is, where's Bob? Holy <laughs> cats, you've got the top dog here to keep an eye on you. I like that. <laughs> That's right. All right, well, this is a unique situation. As was mentioned earlier, we had a little, you know, mix up in the, in the how everything works here. But the positive is we got four good teams, three questions each, and this is going to ultimately conclude with a championship round where someone's going to win $500. So let's keep this, let's keep this going. How are we doing up there? Thank you, Linda. Pretty good? Pretty good? Questions are ready? All right, let's put them up on the screen. Before we get, uh, he's going to put that up there. Before we get started, could you please introduce your team? I'm Bob Razins, Janet Yonker, Jake Murray, Margaret, and Tom Newhart. All right, let's hear it for Wigwam. These people know how to make socks, let me tell you. Good socks. Outstanding. And over here, Knee Mac, looking very sharp. I don't think you're sock makers, are you? No. Nope. And your name is? Stephanie. Stephanie, please introduce your team. Um, or you can, you can speak in the mic. Okay, so. This is Vicki, Chris, and Linda. Vicki, Chris, and Linda, all working at NEMAC? Yes. Very nice. Well, nice job. I toured NEMAC the other day. Beautiful. Beautiful. Don't What's going on? Lots going on at NEMAC. Oh, yes. yes. How many employees at NEMAC? Uh, 1,400. 1,400 employees, and they had to boil that down to their top four players. <laughs> so this is going to be good. All right, we're ready to roll. Let's do this now. Let's Will the two that. team leaders please come forward? Come on, Bobby. Bob. Come on, Steph. Stephanie, Bobby, it's okay to shake hands. Go ahead. Let's keep this clean. <laughs> there you go. One hand behind the back, one on the table. Here we go. 100 or so county residents were surveyed. Name something people keep in their cars. Nemax is a blanket. It's a blanket up there. Team one. Sorry, wrong. No blanket, which I think is surprising. I've got one in my car, you two? Yeah, I can't believe that. Bob, is it? Bob, 100 county residents were surveyed, named something people keep in their cars. Uh, window scraper? Window scraper. We all have those Bob. right now. That's got to be up there. Yes. Woo! Number one answer. Nice job. Wigwam hires nothing but the best employees. Right, Bob? That's right. Would you like to play or pass? We're passing. They're going to pass. Well, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> All right, we're just having fun here. All right, here we go now. How are you doing? I'm good. You heard the question. 100 county residents, so A to Z, were surveyed. Name something people keep in their cars. A map. A map. Do we have a map in there? Sounds like a very good answer to me. Absolutely. Nicely done. Nicely done. Chris, how are you doing? That's the same spelling as my wife, Chris. It's unusual for a woman to have with a K, isn't with it? K. Right, is it really Christine? It's Christina. Christina, that's very nice. Christina, name something people keep in their cars. A shovel. A shovel. A shovel. A shovel. That they keep a shovel in the car. Uh oh. No <laughs> shovel. No <laughs> shovel. How you doing, Linda? Very good. You look badger red today. <laughs> Name something people keep in their cars. Jumper cables. Jumper cables. Oh, Got to be some jumper good cables one. in there. Excellent. Right. Excellent. Back to Stephanie, our fearless leader. So today you guys must have done pretty well. Mm -hmm. okay. You guys yes. are rolling. Mm -hmm. yep. All right. All right. Name something people keep in their cars. A uh, flashlight. Flashlight. That's a good one. Got a flashlight up there? Excellent answer. Only one strike. Four answers on the board. Could you turn that name tag for me? I can't. I'd like to know who I'm talking to. Hi, Vicki. Hi. I'm Adam. Hi, Adam. How nice you doing? to meet you. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Name something people keep in their cars. Boots. 
Boots. An extra pair of boots. Yes. No. no. Good Wisconsin answer, though. You're down to two strikes, Chris. If you're going to keep this alive, you got to yes. get this. 100 county residents named something people keep in their cars. Well, I'm not sure about everybody else, but I have to have Kleenex in my car. Kleenex. <laughs> Absolutely. How about a little Kleenex? Kleenex up there? Absolutely. <laughs> Nicely done. Nicely done. How are you doing? Good. Linda, 100 county residents were asked, name something people keep in their cars. Gloves. Gloves. Ooh, Ooh. That's a good one. Sounds like a good answer. Our gloves up there. Uh-oh. They are not. Chance to steal for Wigwong Mills. I don't see socks up there. <laughs> we, ah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. I didn't think it would be up there. I shouldn't have even said that, but it occurred to me. Uh, team leader, can you mind going around here? Just what, do you think the team leader is to get now, right? All right. And could you turn your name tag, too? Jeez. All right, Bob. Everyone conferred? Yes. You're feeling good about this? Mm -hmm. sure. For the steal, name something people <laughs> keep in their cars. Sunglasses. Sunglasses. Show me the sunglasses for the steal. Show me them. There they are. Nice there they are. Team two, Wigwam, gets the points. Number four, CDs. And number two, change coins. Absolutely. Very good. And our points. Sixty two to zero, it's close. No one get too excited, we got a long way to go here. Question two of three, lots of time with the two next people please come forward. Vicky and Janet. Let's hear it for Vicky and Janet. Janet. Hand down on the back. We're ready to go. Camera's rolling. Everything's good. All right, here we go. Question number two. 100 teenagers were surveyed. Name the best place for pizza in Sheboygan County. Firehouse Pizza. Firehouse Pizza, yeah. she says. <laughs> Team one, that is incorrect. Wow. And she said it was such assertiveness. I thought for sure it had to be up there. It is. There's a bias against Sheboygan Falls. There must be. <laughs> Well, you've got a chance to take this and possibly play or pass. What do you want to do here? Name the best place for pizza in Sheboygan County as responded to by teenagers. Well, I'm thinking that. Mm -hmm. Papa John's. Papa John's. We got a little Papa John's up there. I'm sorry. What? Isn't that delay anticlimactic for you? You, know, you look up there, and you wait, and you see that little thing go all over. Oh, no, Papa I'm John's. Next. That's incorrect, right? It's not up there. All right, now you two go back to your okay. places. So we're going to turn on the down man. here to Chris. How you doing, Chris? I'm doing fine. No one's got an answer up there. Let me repeat the question for you. 100 teens were surveyed, or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. Name the best place for pizza in Sheboygan County. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. It's Pizza Hut. Yes, you're right. Jeez, I hardly got that out of my mouth. Well done out there. Yes, Pizza Hut. So would you like to play or would you like to pass? pass. Wait a minute. Why don't, don't we get, get a chance? chance? Because, they, because these two didn't get a shot at it. This team, if they get it right, it's player pass. See, this, see that up there? It's correct. It's correct. Okay. Player I think pass. we want to pass. Want to pass? pass? Boy, you wigwam folks are a little long tight up here. <laughs> Relax well, we're a just little. trying to play with the rules okay. as they were given. All it's right, so all right. Well, here we go. Here we go. Now, who was up here last? I, I was. So it's Jake. Where's Jake Stern? How you doing, Jake? Pretty good. How are you? You look fantastic. You look great too. Well, thank you. <laughs> One hundred teens were surveyed. Name the best place for pizza in Sheboygan County. Theo's. Theo's. You got it. Theo's. How about some pizza at Theo's? Nicely done. Number one answer. Well done. Well done. How are you doing, Margaret? Doing pretty well. What do you do at Wigwam? I work in product development. Product development. So you like create the socks? That's you my invent job. the socks? Yes, with a skilled team of knitters. Impressive. Yes. Impressive. All right. Well, nice to meet you. You as well. Name the best place for pizza in Sheboygan County. I'm going to go with Faze. Faze, Faze Pizza. Got some Faze Pizza up there? 
Well done. Very good answer, Margaret. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing Getting good. acclimated? Absolutely. I met Tom at a Rotary meeting about six months ago or so, and what, wasn't it Florida you were from, or more Southern? Northern California. Northern California. <laughs> Welcome to Wisconsin. <laughs> Tom, name the best place for pizza in Sheboygan County. My kids, that would be Toppers. Toppers, oh. it's Toppers up there. There you go, Tom. Well done, back to the team leader. No strikes on the board. You're looking real good. Four yeah. answers up there. 100 teenagers were surveyed and asked to name the best place for pizza in Sheboygan County. What do you think? Nicky's. Nicky's. Is Nicky's up there? Mm. Oh. Nicky's. No Nicky's, but you still got two strikes left. Keep it rolling here. Name the best place for pizza in Sheboygan County. Luigi's. Luigi's. Excellent pizza. Luigi's. Are they up there? Yeah. Nice job. Jake, our number one answer, man. Two strikes right. left. You're looking good, Neem. Best place for pizza in Sheboygan County. I have to go with Domino's. Domino's. We got Domino's up there. Nope, what? that's not right. <laughs> Domino's. No Domino's. Well, it, they're teenagers. You know, we don't know. You survey them, they give you their best answers. Domino's might be good, right? Name the best place for pizza in Sheboygan County to keep things rolling here. Uh, Little Caesars. Little Caesars. Is Little right. Caesars pizza up there? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. I, I think he's got a mean streak in him. Did you see how he did that? One, two, yeah. Yep. All right. Well done, though. Well done. That's three strikes. Nemax got a chance to steal. Did you have a chance to confer? Yeah. You betcha. Looking good. Everyone's yeah. smiling. Mm -hmm. For the steal and to match things up a little bit point-wise here. 100 teens were surveyed, named the best place for pizza in Sheboygan County. Uh, pizza Ranch. Pizza Ranch. Oh. Set on over to the Pizza Ranch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice <laughs> Nemac, team one, gets the points and the steal. Number eight, D. O'Malley's, and number six. Oh, I forgot. Trevo. All right. Well done. Wow. What is that, Margaret? And the point total. It's going to tighten things up. 71-62. This is coming down to the third and final question. Yeah, was, somebody left some glasses up here, by the way. Lost and found if you're missing some glasses. Question number three. Fifth graders were surveyed. Name a food you do not have to chew but swallow. Pudding. Is pudding on the board? Team one. Yes. You All right, there's five answers better. I'm going to read it just as it was provided to me. Fifth graders were surveyed. Got to think like a fifth grader. Name a food. You do not have to chew, but swallow. Jello. Jello. Is Jello on the board? That's correct. Would you like to play or pass? Pass. Pass. You're going to pass. All right. Thank you. There's the two up there. I can read that up there. That, that reads a little better. Name a food you do not have to chew to swallow. Fifth graders. <laughs> Linda. Oh, macaroni and cheese. Macaroni. How many of us don't chew macaroni? <laughs> may, there may be people in here that don't. And remember, these were fifth graders right? that were surveyed, so this could be an excellent answer. Is macaroni up there? Yep. Hey! <laughs> All right, we got noodles, we got jello, we got pudding. Name a food you do not have to chew to swallow. Stephanie, what do you think? Candy. Candy. How about candy? We got candy on the board? That would be your first strike, but you're still looking good. Name a food you do not have to chew to swallow. Ice cream. Ice cream. Is ice cream up there? Number two answer, well done. Only one strike. 
This is for the win, potentially, but there's still three answers up there. Name a food you do not have to chew to swallow. Soup. Soup. Show me the soup. Very good. Two left, two strikes. How are you feeling about the pressure right now? <laughs> Doing all right? There's about three million viewers watching this right now. <laughs> Name a food you do not have to chew to swallow. Cheese. 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 Well, that's Sheboygan County. You could be up there. No. No cheese. All right. Well, you are the team leader, Stephanie. Obviously, you were selected because you're probably the, the leader of this group, right? <laughs> Tough under pressure. You've got two strikes, so they have a chance to steal. They're conferring now. Name a food you do not have to chew to swallow. Popsicle. 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 Show me a popsicle. That's so wrong. Those judges are getting yeah. they're tired or getting mean or something, aren't they? I thought it was a good answer, but they're having fun too. All right, we're over here at Wigwam. Wigwam has a chance to steal for the win. Two answers on the board. Bob, have you conferred? Yes. You feeling good about this answer? Sure. All right, here we go. Name a food you do not have to chew to swallow. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Show me the potatoes. It wasn't up there. It wasn't up there, which means Nemac wins the round. Number seven, yogurt. And number one, applesauce. Good job. Put your hands together for all these guys. Nice job. Nice job. Well done. Well played. Thank you, everybody. Quickly, very quickly, Kate, introduce your team. I am Kate, and we're from Festival Foods. This is Peter. Danielle. Dustin. Pat. All right, turn your name tags for me, would you? And over here, Nia. I am Nia. We're from Lakeland College, and this is Gizar. Gina. John. Anthony. And Brent. All right, thank you very much. We're going to get rolling because we know time's late. Two team leaders, please come forward. We have three questions. This is it. Let's hear it for them, huh? All right, quiet, quiet. 100 teens were surveyed. Name a favorite brand of gum. Festival. Orbit. Is Pete Orbit one. up there? Yes. Number three answer, Nia, so there's room for two more. Bubble yum. Bubble yum. Is there any bubble yum up there? Sorry. Wrong. Sorry, Nia. Would you like to play or pass? They're gonna play, okay. Okay, wow, here we go, huh? This is our third day of this event. How's everybody holding up? Great, Good. it's been a long one. Good, all right. Well, 100 teens were asked to name a favorite brand of gum. What do you think, Peter? Five gum. Five gum, is five gum up there? Five gum, has anybody in the audience heard of five gum? Yeah, I hadn't. Five gum, good answer, number one answer. Wow. Name a favorite brand of gum, Daniel. Uh, Trident. Trident. It's Trident up there. Well done, well done. I wonder if it gives them any advantage that they all work at a grocery <laughs> store. <laughs> Dustin. Name a favorite brand of gum. Dentine. Dentine. Is dentine up there? Oh. Apparently not. Pat, how you doing? Pretty good. Probably don't chew a lot of gum in the meat department, do you? Not we? at all. No. no. Not at all. In fact, I'll bet you employees aren't allowed to chew gum at all when they're at work, right? Right. I right. like that. I like, looks terrible. Doesn't that when somebody's chewing on their old gum? Uh, mm. I'm with just a personal observation. Okay, 100 teens were surveyed. Name a favorite brand of gum. I'm going back old here, but Wrigley? Wrigley. I can remember Wrigley. How about a little Wrigley? No. 
I'm with you, Pat. I would have thought that was up there. 100 teens. 100 teens. So obviously, they don't chew a lot of Wrigley, do we're they? We're done. 100 teens were surveyed. Name a favorite brand of gum. Yeah. Icebreaker? Icebreaker. We got any icebreaker up there? Yeah. All right. Lakeland College. Chance to steal some of the best and brightest minds in Sheboygan <laughs> County. No pressure. We've surveyed about 100 teenagers and we asked them to name a favorite brand of gum. You are the team leader? Yes. Are you prepared to answer? We are prepared. And your answer is? Big Red. Big Red. Is Big Red up there? No. No Big Red. Festival gets the points. Thought that was a good answer, but it wasn't up there. How about six? What do we got for six? Juicy, number five. Stride, and number four. Extra. No big red. I like big red. All right. Question number two. Bring up the next two contestants, please. Let's go, Juicy. What's that? A little. Little commercial break. Let's go to number five. All right, and we're back. One hundred county residents were surveyed. Name a U.S. president other than Washington, Lincoln, or Obama. Lakeland. Van Buren. <laughs> Is Van Buren up there? I'm sorry. I think Van Buren, wasn't he like the Lakeland College president, or was, or is, or what's Van Buren? He was a president. Oh, he is Bart, a president. Bart then why are you Buren. laughing? Because no one obscure, knows him. Obscure president. Is Van Buren up there? For those of you watching, that is a president of the United States, but it wasn't up there. To get on the board, 100 county residents were surveyed. I know you were quick at the bell as well. Name, us, name a U.S. president other than Washington, Lincoln, or Obama. Kennedy. 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 Let's see Kennedy. Yes. Very good. Would you like to play or would you like to pass? You're going to play. Lakeland College, they're going to play. Yeah, they knew that. How are you doing? All right. Danielle, this is yep. the third and final question. No, it's not. It's only the second. second. We're okay. Yet. We're okay. Don't feel too much pressure. <laughs> 100 county residents, name a U.S. president other than Washington, Lincoln, and Obama. Carter. Carter. Show me President Carter. Absolutely. Well done. Well done, Dustin. Name a U.S. president other than Washington, Lincoln, or Obama. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. President Clinton. Very good. I think we're just going to keep rolling here, Pat. What do you think? Name a president other than Washington, Lincoln, or Obama. George W. Bush. George W. Bush. Took him a while, didn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, how are we doing up there? All right, all right. George W. Bush, all right. We have four answers on the board, no strikes. You're rolling festival foods. Name a U.S. president other than Washington, Lincoln, or Obama. Kate, what do you think? Eisenhower. Eisenhower. Is President Eisenhower up there? <laughs> Certainly a president, but not up there. Peter. Roosevelt. Roosevelt, he's got to be up there. President Roosevelt. Very good. Two for one chance there. Danielle? I'm going to go with the ever controversial Nixon. Nixon. Show me Nixon. We're flying along. Only one strike. A couple left, Pat. Name a U.S. president other than... I'm sorry, Pat. <laughs> Wait your turn. I will. <laughs> Dustin? Name a U.S. president other than Washington, Lincoln, or Obama. Well, we already talked about W, so I'm going to go with uh, Bush 41. Bush 41. Bush Sr. Bush Sr. Oh. Good guess. 
All right, Pat. Sorry I'm going to go with my man, Ron Reagan. Ronald Reagan. Is President Ronald Reagan on the board? Yay! Number one answer. Well done, Pat. For the clean sweep, Kate. Name a U.S. president other than Washington, Lincoln, or Obama. Five seconds. Uh, Henry Ford. Henry Ford. Is Henry Ford on the board? <laughs> All right, coming down to Lakeland College. That's what I'm saying. That one. Okay. So. We're going to go with... Well, oh. You seem kind of in a hurry to give the answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know who that is. How are you doing? Good. You're conferred? Everyone's good? Lots of smiles? All right, here yes. we go. You're going to go with who? LBJ, Linda B. Johnson. Linda B. Johnson. Linda is Linda B. Johnson up there for Linden. the steal? <laughs> Lyndon B. Johnson. Oh, come on. Oh. No. No. It is She's not up there. Order. Team one gets the points. What was number seven? Thomas Jefferson. Wow. All right. What do you do? What do you do? Nice job. And the point total? And the point total? There's no three can do it, so we're done. Correct. We're done. No, no, no third. All right. Yay. Let's just say that both these teams are already winners, are they not? Let's hear it out there. On behalf of Rotary, we really appreciate you participating and your patience today with a couple of little blips, but I'll tell you, we have so many good people working so hard to make this happen, so thanks for your patience. A lot of good people here. Now, we've got six questions to determine the Rotary Survey Says Championship of the World event right now. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Uh, you were all in the room earlier. Do you think we could just get right to the game, or would you like to do introductions? Let's I just right want to say we, we, we didn't think we'd get past the first round, so. <laughs> <laughs> I, she said she didn't think she'd get past the first no, round. I love that confidence. Team. Okay, let's get going here. Let's just get, let's play. Let's play. Come on, Ford. Go for it. Okay, come on. Question number one. Here we go. 100 teens were surveyed in Sheboygan County or thereabouts. Name a favorite movie that came out during 2013. Yes. Hunger Games. Is Hunger Games up there? Team one. That's correct. Number one answer. Would you like to play or pass? They are going to pass, all right. We get to come on down to NEMAC. NEMAC has, how many employees does NEMAC have? 1,400. 1,400, I think you said that earlier to me today. 1,400, that's a lot of employees. The mayor and I had a chance to tour NEMAC maybe six, eight months ago. Incredible facility, a lot going on. Yes. All right, Stephanie, they passed. The number one answer is already on the board. Name a favorite movie that came out during 2013. Uh, Thor 2. Thor 2. Yep. Thor 2. Is it up there? It is not up there. Take your time on this now. Remember, this is the championship of the world round. 100 teens. Teens were asked this question. Name a favorite movie that came out during 2013. Oh, when I said take your time, I didn't mean like take a long time. <laughs> I meant just, you know, relax and take a few seconds, Vicki. I know the movie, I don't know the name. Um... A teenager, what would they say in 2013 was a favorite movie? Disney movie, I don't know. Um... I need your answer. Five seconds. I don't have it. I don't have it. Could be a Disney World. No, OK. 
okay, well, you never know. Earlier today, there were some answers like, I don't know, that were up there. Mm -hmm. Chris, 100 teens were surveyed. Name a favorite movie that came out during 2013. There was a sequel to The Hobbit. The Hobbit. Hobbit 2? Um, Hob a sequel to He gave it to you. There you go. The Hobbit. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> 100 teens were asked, name a favorite movie that came out during 2013. Despicable Me 2. Despicable Me 2. Very good. I wouldn't have gotten any of these. I would have Hunger Games, maybe I would have gotten. Despicable Me 2. Did you see it? Yes. Really? Name a favorite movie that came out during 2013. Uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs 2. Could you hold it, hold it. Don't give her the wrong on that yet. I want to hear this. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs, too. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs, too. Come on, that's got to be up there. How many in the audience heard of that movie? Cloudy? Really? A lot of you. I am out of touch. All right, well, that was your third strike. But you left them only three on the board, and obviously this is a tough question. Festival Foods, Kate, team yes. leader. Have you conferred? Yes, we have. And you have an answer to name a favorite movie that came out during 2013. Frozen. Frozen. There it is. Well done. Nice steal. Nice steal. Number six. One oh, Direction. Right. Oh. This is us in number five. Fast and Furious. All right. Nice job. Festival Foods. First to get on the board. What do the points look like? Seventy-one, nothing worse. Yeah. Question number two, anybody's game. Rotary survey says championship of the world. 100 senior citizens were surveyed or thereabouts. Name a famous person from Sheboygan County. Peter. Team one. Herb Kohler, team one. Yes. Number one answer, Peter, would you like to play or pass? Pass. They're going to pass, all right. <laughs> Name a favorite, a famous person from Sheboygan County. Now, all right, Stephanie was up. Vicki was about to hit the buzzer, so you get the shot at this. Vicki, how long have you lived in Sheboygan County? Um, most of my life. Um, most of your yeah. life. So like 25, 26 years? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Vicki's been in Sheboygan <laughs> County for about 25 years. I'm sure this is an easy question. Name a famous person from Sheboygan County. The mayor. Um, mayor Ryan. <laughs> we all know there's a little uh -huh. truth to this, don't we? Uh, I know. He was. Did our seniors say Mayor Ryan? Vicky knows your stuff. Outstanding. Outstanding. Mike, is Mike Vandersteen here anymore? He'd be so happy to see this. All right. Mayor Ryan, number two answer on the board. Keep it rolling. Chris, 100 seniors were, were surveyed. Name a famous person from Sheboygan County. The only thing I can think of is David Kohler. David Kohler. David Kohler. Not a bad answer. Certainly is a famous individual, that's for sure. A lot going on at Kohler. Linda, a lot going on at NEMAC too. Do we have any famous celebrities from NEMAC? Not that I know. Not, not that I know either. Name a famous person from Sheboygan County. Um, I've only been here a couple of years, so I don't have any clue. You know what, if you've only lived here a couple of years, this is really unfair. <laughs> yeah. We, sorry, we're going to have to ask you for an answer. Name a famous person from Sheboygan County. Five seconds. I don't know, is there someone named Walter Kohler? Walter Kohler. <laughs> is Walter Kohler on the board? Guess is better than none at all. All right, two strikes. 
Chance for Festival Foods to Steal, name a famous person from Sheboygan County. Five seconds, Stephanie. Uh, Mr. French. Mr. French. <laughs> Is Mr. French on the board? No, Chance to Steal, Festival Foods. They are conferring. Kate is in her leadership chair. Name a famous person from Sheboygan County. Sam Decker. Sam Decker. Is Sam Decker up there? There he is. Nice job. Nice job. He's been having a tremendous career at UW Madison. Well done. As well as Lutheran. All right. Stolen by Festival Foods. Number six. Mary Alice Fox. Yeah. Uh huh. Can't say that jumps out at me. Number five. <laughs> Joe Lightbomb, Senator Lightbomb, and number three. Bill Schrader. All right, former Packer. Well done. Well done. And our points. One thirty-two to zero, but we're only entering our third question. Next two players. Question number three. Fifth graders were surveyed and asked, name a musical instrument too big to carry on a plane. Chris, a tuba. We got a tuba up there. Team two. Yes. Number one answer, play or pass, Nemac. Um, okay. Need a call. Play. They're gonna play. They're gonna play for those of us who played in band and carried big old instruments around. I'm sure we can think of some answers to this. Name a musical instrument too big to carry on a plane. The bass drum. The bass drum. Is the bass drum up there? Very good, nicely done, nicely done. Stephanie, name a musical instrument, according to fifth graders, too big to carry on a plane. A piano? A piano. Show me the piano. Absolutely. I wouldn't want to carry that on an old plane, huh? No siree. Okay, fifth graders, you're on a roll. No stripes. No, no, uh, what are they called again? Stripes. What are those stripes. things? Spares. No, what are no, spares? You call them spares? Are you a, you're a bowler. No. <laughs> stripes. Name a musical instrument too big to carry on a plane. An organ. An organ. Is there an organ up there? Similar to a piano, I wouldn't want to carry it. Right. Name a musical instrument too big to carry on a plane. One strike. Trombone. A trombone. I was hoping somebody would say, I played the trombone and carrying that doggone thing around <laughs> on the bus. Oh, it's tough. I could imagine carrying it on a plane. Trombone, good answer. All right, only one strike. Name a musical instrument too big to carry on a plane. Let's go with the, I don't know, fifth graders, violin. Violin. I don't want to carry a violin on the plane. No, thank you. Right there, two strikes. Nemac may be looking to get stolen from here if Stephanie doesn't keep it going. Name a musical instrument too big to carry on a plane. Uh, the cello. The cello. Yes. Is the cello up uh -huh. there? Good answer. Stephanie keeps it alive. Vicki, two more answers. Name a musical instrument too big to carry on a plane. Um, fifth graders, huh? Fifth graders. Just gonna go with... Um, Viola. A viola. Is a viola up there? No viola. Three strikes. Come on, on down to Festival Foods. They've conferred. 
You have 132 points, and this would give you a nice lead if you're able to steal. Here are two answers on the board. Name a musical instrument too big to carry on a plane. A harp. A harp. Do we have a harp up on the board? There it is. Nice job. Nice job. Festival food steals. They get the points. Number four. A baritone to finalize the score. And what's our total? 218 to zero. Emacs got to get on the board. Question number four. Go, Dustin. What's that, Linda? Sure, we can put that on for you. <laughs> Could you put number two on for Linda just for a second? Just give Linda a second to soak this in. <laughs> okay. All right, I think that's good. Thank you. All right, Linda. Here we go. 100 Rotarians were surveyed. Name an animal that starts with the letter A. Linda. Art Bark. Game two. That's correct. Number one answer. Did that song work for Linda or what? Nicely done. Player, player pass. They're going to pass. Nice answer. Art Bark. Wow. Okay. Name an animal. Where am I? Predator. Down to Pat. Pat, you work with animals. All the time. You're darn right. He's a I love them inside and out. Darn right. <laughs> Pat works in the meat department if you missed that earlier. All right. Let's go ant eater. Ant eater. Ant eater. Do you have ant eater on the board? Yeah. Nice job. Festival foods. Moving right along here. Back to the team leader. Name an animal that starts with the letter A. Antelope. Antelope. Do we have antelope on the board? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go, Peter. Name an animal that starts with the letter A. Alligator. Alligator. Is alligator up there? We're rolling. We're rolling, Danielle. Name an animal that starts with the letter A. Anaconda. Anaconda. Oh, <laughs> no, but only one, only your first strike. Lots of time here. Name an animal that starts with the letter A. We have an ant eater. What about an ant? What about an ant? Is there an ant up there? Yes, there is. Two on the board. Pat. Name an animal that starts with the letter A. Arabian stallion. Right. An Arabian <laughs> stallion. You don't have many of these in the meat market, I don't think. I don't know. No, an Arabian <laughs> stallion, not up there. All right, you still got a strike left. You're still okay. Okay. Okay, you remember the question? Yep. Name an animal that starts with the letter A. Armadillo. Armadillo. That's a good answer. Armadillo. Well, two strikes. One answer on the board. Fourth question. This potentially could seal the deal. Peter, name an animal that starts with the letter A. Five seconds. I'm drawing a blank. I'm at the pass. I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> Do we have I'm drawing a blank up there? All right. Nemac, chance to steal. This is critical. I mean critical. How are we doing here? <laughs> We're doing great. Holy chances. This is big. All right. This is question number four. There's two more after this. Do, how does it work with the points? Do we know exactly how many points there are each time? Regardless, we're, co we're continuing, right? You're darn right we are, aren't we? What? I can't hear your audience. Are we continuing after this? <laughs> yeah, I bet we are. I bet we are. So it really doesn't matter what you answer here because we're still going to continue and have fun. But this would be huge. Name an animal that starts with the letter A. Alpaca. Alpaca. Good Is time. alpaca on the board for the steal? No. No. Oh, I thought it was. Thought it was. Festival Foods keeps the points. Number three was? A. 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 Oh. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's keep rolling. Anything can happen. I think. I know, right? I thought you had it. I thought you had it. All right. 
Question number five. Teens were surveyed. Teenagers. Name the best place for an ice cream treat in Sheboygan County. Pat. Dairy Queen. Not Festival Team Foods? Team one. Dairy Queen. That's correct. A lot of room up there. A lot of room. Name the best place for an ice cream treat in Sheboygan County, and your answer is? At a restaurant. At a restaurant. Oh, I'm very sorry. Player pass. We're going to pass. They're going to pass. <laughs> Thank you. I thought you were just trying to kind of smoke them there a little bit. Yeah. You never know. All right, Vicki. Teens were surveyed. Teenagers. You have any children? Yeah. How old are they? 37 and 31. You're kidding, and you've only been in Sheboygan <laughs> County 26 years. It's been here all uh -huh. How is that possible? Man, what a woman. What a woman. I'm impressed. Well, that's wonderful. Name the best place for an ice cream treat in Sheboygan County. McDonald's. McDonald's. Is McDonald's up there? Good answer. Nicely done. Nicely done. Keep it going, Chris. Name the best place for an ice cream treat in Sheboygan County. Cold Stone Creamery. Cold Stone Creamery. That is where my daughters love to go. Cold Stone Creamery. Good answer. Linda. Culver's? Culver's. Is Culver's on the board? They're rolling. They're rolling. Two left. No strikes. Name the best place for an ice cream treat in Sheboygan County. Sonic. Sonic. Yeah. Sonic. Two up there yet. Name the best place for an ice cream treat in Sheboygan County. Um. Five seconds. No answer. Strike. No. That's all right. That's all right, Chris. You're still alive here. Name the best place for an ice cream treat in Sheboygan County. I believe the name of the place is Tilly's. 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 Tilly's with a T. Uh -huh. Tilly's with a T. All right. Chance for Festival Foods to once again steal from Nemat. You guys are something. <laughs> You've been very effective, and this would, I, I gotta believe this would pretty much, you know, put the hurt on things here. Name the best place for an ice cream treat in Sheboygan County. What do you think, Katie? South Pier Parlor. South Pier Parlor. Yeah. Number one answer, nice job. Nice job, Festival Foods. They get the steal. Number four, Men cheese. Which is an ice cream. It's frozen yogurt. <laughs> All right, the total points. And looking to our judges, and we continue to play. Is that correct? All right. I'm see well, I'm seeing different visible signals from different people. From a point standpoint, can they get any more? then I think we should call our champions yeah. of Survey Says for 2014. Let's hear it for them. Congratulations. Congratulations. Tim, or who's going to come up there and present these folks with the award? All right, one more round of applause, everybody. And we want to thank all of our contestants today and all of our volunteers that have helped us out. Um, we want to thank NEMAC for doing such a great job today and congratulate Festival as they win the, the tournament. Not only will you be able to display this lovely trophy at Festival Foods, we hope you're in Sheboygan for the calendar year until our contest again next year but you have won a $500 grand prize. 
It's up to you how you guys want to take it. If you'd like to donate to charity, if you'd like to check that to yourselves. Well, but um, we have a question. Sure. We would like to take it to festival and let them. It's up to them to decide. Okay, and you're like welcome to do that. It's your winning. We'll go that route. And Emac, your we'll, kind of we'll the second charity. prize is two hundred and fifty dollars. Thank you. Okay, well, with that, we thank you again for another very successful Present survey set. What's that? Present the patrol. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I'd leave it on this great display right here. There you are. Congratulations. Thank you.